I think most people don't know. Horses don't like snow falling on their butt. Uh, they always, they, they don't like it, they'll, they'll, they'll shake and stuff. Um, we gave, <laughs> one of the things that, that, that my saddles would do <clears throat> is we had this little leather covering that would cover the back hind legs and cover around in there because horses don't like it when rain fall rains on their butt or their back hind legs legs or their or their um, or their or their back they uh, it bothers them you know especially with a rider on top it's something that that, that you would never know uh, with a rider on top they don't really like like the rain or snow falling on their on their back hind legs so we used to make a little like a little leather thing that would go around their back and most people were like no 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 it's like it's oh it's true it's true it's true uh, part of the part of the saddles, we used to make these little saddle things that would uh, basically cover their back hind legs. It, their, their back is cold and they start wiggling around and stuff like that. Anyway, I don't know. I've never owned a horse or had a horse, but um, but we had horses and we made saddles. So we made little <laughs> little back protectors for the for the horses, so the rain would drip to the sides of their things because their back their their, their, their butt gets cold, and they don't like rain or snow falling on it. Anyway, I wound up playing this game, Red Dead Redemption, and it reminds me of some of the saddles that, that, that we had. We had these little, like, leather thingies that would just kind of cover up their back and kind of keep their butt warm. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, like, but horses like like to be covered, too. They like to be covered with, with leather or something warm, especially in the colder climates. And they don't like the rain and stuff like that. They like to be out in the sun and stuff. But uh, snow or rain would fall on their butt, and they would, and they would and they would not like to go out in it. So we made these little thingies that that that, that, that kept the rain off their back hind legs, and they were very happy. Like I gotta say, horses and a lot of animals like they're living, breathing, breathing creatures. You know, they they think thoughts too, and they think about things, and they and they dream, and they do everything that humans do. All my all, all my life forms, all the life forms that, that I create have have a brain and have intelligence and have sentience basically you know they think they feel they care about things they um, <clears throat> they get emotional they even cry just like humans do so I mean they're little people in there basically you know I mean they get cold they get hungry they get hot you know they want to go to certain places they like certain things and um, they're just like humans like all my life forms even birds like, like I say, that's one of my things about LS or, or Lucifer Star. All my life forms, including humans and my exoskeletons, endoskeletons, every life form I ever created, um, always had a brain and always had a conscience and always cared and felt and would feel things and care about things. So, anyway, <clears throat> so horses um, were one of my creatures and um, the spinal things. Well, it's basically the basic endoskeleton life form, basically, with um, it's the spine and everything. It's just like a human in many ways. And um, just like you, so like their little butt would get cold and stuff like that, and they get hot and they get tired, and they have just as much of a personality as people do. It's just that they don't speak English. So anyway, um, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm the sort of star, so I knew all these things. So you know, and we had horses and stuff like that, and animals, and you know, they they're not wild creatures. I mean, they can be wild, but they're not just. I mean. They're not just wild, it's what they know and what you teach them, just like humans. So anyway, so yeah, so so it, when we had horses and stuff in the rain and stuff like that, they didn't want to go out in the rain unless their butt was covered with a, with a, with a, with a piece, of, piece of leather or something. And other people are like, I don't believe it. It's like, no, it's true, it's true. Like, like, like our horses could go out in the rain or my horses could, could go out in the rain because we had a little shield for their butt and basically their body would, that would keep them warm and keep the rain off of them. They don't like getting wet. Just like, just like humans don't like getting wet. I mean, you don't like getting wet, so <laughs> you don't like being in the cold, drizzly rain. So why would your horse? So anyway, so yeah. I mean, I'm Lucifer Star, you know. I'm, I guess you would say, the ringmaster of this crazy little circus that you call the Earth. And uh, basically uh, 120 or 400 other plants that are considered civilized. Anyway, so yes, I mean, it's a very, 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 very big picture. You know, the LSF. Uh, dash a colony ship which has been to earth at least three times and many other colony ships and spaceships so yeah well i mean only me so yeah i mean i don't know i mean it's all complicated and it gets all crazy complex and everything else like that but that's who i am that's what i am i'm lucifer star i'm your creator so 
Anyway, other people would figure this out and find this out and know about this. And of course, the, there was a problem of anyone, any fool could walk up to me and basically go, <laughs> and then your creator is dead. Um, not to mention somebody like, like like Abraham Lincoln, who did come up to me or find me, and basically they got me in a house and pretty much gave me a disease for which I had no immune system to, or immuno, whatever, and I died. After, after being exposed to a very, very high fever, and I was extremely sick in bed, and basically died as a three-foot or four-foot tall white male. And at well, which point in time, Abraham Lincoln did say that he had adopted me, and therefore he was his father, I was his father, he was my father, or some shit like that, and therefore he was entitled to America and everything that I owned. But of course, I was only three foot tall, and he was not my father, nor did he have any right to adopt me. Anyway, I was very pissed. So anyway, yeah. So that's what happened in 1917 or so. So. Anyway, eventually he was hunted down by the Chinese and killed. They, they put a bullet through his hat, and then I think the next shot went through his chest or something like that. Or they finally killed him, what's called. But there was a couple look like Abraham Lincoln running around. So, Anyway, it got complicated and all that other stuff, and now I'm better and over it. So, And now I'm here. Like I said, the creator of 1.5. 1.5 foot life forms, very cute little guys, and I'm the creator of exoskeletons, four different types of exoskeletons, and um, 800 galaxies, and this this galaxy, and the galaxy is coming towards us. So, anyway, oh well, and the female life form type, basically, and the male life form type. You are my genetic creations. And I also gave you language. I designed the Spanish language, and also a few other languages, and English. So, anyway... Yes, and like I say, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, and of course, there's also Chinese, which I don't really know if I designed that language. Um, the Chinese might have done that on their own. Uh, me and Chinese and China or Japan or Asian people, well, we were more like-minded thinkers, basically. You know, I was more LS and... and, um, and uh, and, and what's called Irish people, and also um, Germans, some Germans and some English people, and stuff like that. Uh, I did have Germans, or I own Germany anyway. And it gets all complicated where I'm German, but I'm not German, and, and, and mostly I'm Belfast and the White Star Line Company, basically, and stuff like that. And um, I have more Irish people that work for me than anything else. And I love Irish, uh, Ireland, and they, and they seem to like me, but I also owned uh, Germany. And like I say, I didn't take it over. I'm not a conqueror. I bought it and I built it. And I made it into the powerhouse of production, of mass production that it was. And anyway, uh, basically America and all that other stuff. So, and everything was going along just fine until about 1917 when, of course, Abraham Lincoln said he adopted me and basically tried to take over my company, even though I had basically told, I had basically said that, 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 um, that China or, or the Asian people would be running things in, in my absence. And that's what that's all about because the Asian people were, you know, they were very, um, you know, they were very trustworthy. And they did honor and respect and all that other stuff, and they were very good to me and other people. Uh, but of course, there's also um, um, my Belfast shipyard, or Ellis shipyard. So anyway, things got complicated as I died in 1917 or something like that. So, And I was actually nuked in, 19, in 1850 by the Russians, but it wasn't really the Russians. So even though they, they were trying to hold the Russian board accountable and say that they had murdered me, but I have a feeling that it wasn't them. It was more probably JFK or Nixon or somebody or or probably uh, someone like Abraham Lincoln had more to do with it than anything else because, you know, those were the people, or, or Mr. Brown, who wanted to take me down. Basically, the Papa and Papa's boys. Uh, he very much wanted to destroy everything that was me and kill me. And he went around saying, how can you trust a white leader or a, right, or a white god? But he didn't really understand. I mean, I created the black people too. So, I mean, it's just a skin type color. So, anyway, not really much different than that. Um, anyway, whatever. I don't really care. But basically, Papa or the black people wanted to kill me and take me out. Because he's, he went around saying, that how could you trust a white person? And it's like, well, I mean... White Star Lions. I employed black people too, and I paid them fairly. the The real problem was the black people wanted to be paid more than the white people, and that's kind of like that wasn't really fair. But they weren't doing any work, so you know, and hadn't actually done any work ever. 
So basically just being able to point guns and take over things and basically kill Germans. They killed my German, the, 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 the nice old German guy that was running the LS shipyard and then tried to kill the, 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 the Irish people. So anyway, it gets all complicated.